this garage, I've tested many power banks. Mm. This uh, Vito man has its own unique thing. Mm. They give you a 300 watt hour power bank. Mm. Now, this is not the biggest one that is available out there. They have much bigger banks out there, but it's very, very light. So being light, that makes it very portable. Also, usually when you have 300 watt power bank, can only provide 300 watts worth of power. This one can provide 600 with a 1200 watt peak power. And of course, we're gonna fully test that in this video. This is the lithium iron phosphate pouches in here. So because of that, these are not only very durable, but also very, very safe. And they definitely go for the safety on this thing because you could go definitely like this for a half a day and it won't catch on fire. With all that being said, let's go through the features. I'm gonna give you a close look. This is the box that it comes in. This is the manual that it comes in. And this is the stickers that it comes with. This is the unit itself. So as I said, very small and light. Also, it comes with a charger for a 110 outlet. It would take three hours to three hours and a half to fully charge at 90 watts. Also comes with a cigarette lighter that this one can be plugged into a car. Also, it can be charged via a solar panel. So it accepts between 12 volts and 30 volts solar panel, which I've tested, and it can charge via a solar panel, 100 watt solar panel. It's recommended for this particular unit. Also, it's MPPT. So that means that it can find the maximum tracking point for charging as fast as it can. You get two USB cords with it because it has a lot of USBs over here. The size wise, this was really, really designed to be portable. So it's a light, small, uh, something you take with you, put in a tent. Now, one of the things that I was reading here in the manual, it says that it's recommended to be used with resistive loads, but they don't necessarily recommend it to run TVs or computers. And that's interesting that they say that in here because here they claim that it's a pure sine wave power supply. So I'm going to test that too. Uh, I want to see if my laptop can run on it or if my TV can run on it. Here in the front you have the typical 12 volt. Also you have two 12 volt connections. You have the USB connections. You have two 110 outlets here in the front also. And interesting enough, it has a connector for a bigger battery. So you could hook it up to a different battery that you could stack this one on top. And jumper cables. This is an interesting thing because it does not come in the package, so I did not get the jumpers, but I have jumpers that have this type of a connection. So theoretically, in a pinch, your car doesn't start, this thing can start your car. Now let's put it through the test. Let's see if uh, it can handle certain things. So you can see here, it uh, pulls about a thousand watts first and then it settles about 400. It's very, very interesting how, how it treats power. It doesn't really trip. Okay, this heat gun pulls 600 watts or 1200. So I'm gonna go to 600. So it's definitely handling 600 with no problem. What's gonna happen if I'm gonna put it in 1200 watts mode? So for a second it pulled 1200 and then it settles to 600. So if I'm gonna go to 600, it's very interesting the way that it treats power. Very, very interesting. So it winds down instead of having a trip. So it doesn't trip, it just literally just winds down and somehow it maintains the load. So I'm gonna try something interesting. It's plugged into charge right now, but then I plugged in my bike charger. This is an e-bike. And if I plug in the e-charger, I wanna see how it does the bypassing. So right now I plugged in the e-charger and it is charging and it has a net positive of two watts. So I'm pulling 80, I'm charging at 90, so it just shows you the net positive in here. So it has a bypass over what this one can do. It's, it's actually very interesting how it treats it. So how it works is that it pulls 90 watts out of your charger, car, cigarette light or whatever. That's a constant load, solar panels, it doesn't care. It pulls about 90 watts out of it all the time. And it can provide up to 600 with quick burst to 1200 and then when the load stops and then still charge at 91 watts. So it's not really a bypass out of the network, it's more like a bypass out of the unit itself. It acts like a buffer, like a capacitor. So let's see how it's gonna treat this old TV that I am willing to sacrifice in case it doesn't work, so. And there it is, the TV is running off this thing pulling 230 now, so 220. So 
it was uh, going through its uh, warm-up phase and then now it just settled to its uh, standby phase and it's um, handling the TV even though the manual says that it shouldn't. And it can run a laptop too. The laptop is pulling 59 watts. This laptop does not have an operating system so I didn't want to sacrifice my good laptop but uh, it runs it. And here it is, it's plugged into the car, just test it out, and it is charging at 41, 42 watts. I wonder if I turn the engine on, it's gonna go higher. Oh, there you go. So if you turn the engine on, it charges a lot faster. So it all goes based on the voltage and the amps that the motor can provide. And I have to draw a conclusion towards the end. It's a very interesting device. The fact that it can hold power without tripping, it's very, very interesting because it can run any brute kind of a force device, like any, any resistive device, like a drill or anything like that. Maybe not at full power, but it can run it. Where other battery backups that I've seen before, they just trip and then you're left with no power. This one, it's maintaining it. I have no explanation, but it definitely works that way. But ultimately it comes down to price. And uh, if you're looking for affordable power bank, I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of the video to see how much it costs. Vitomen offers a affordable solution for power on the go. With a small solar panel, this thing sitting next to your tent on your next camping, camping trip, this is gonna be maybe the best thing that you ever bought. So check it out, the link at the bottom of the video. Let me know what you think if you want in the comment section and thanks for watching.